hello in the course we learn how we can build microservice and how we can do the monitoring for this microservice and in the last we see how we can show our microservice in browser with Aureka so for the first we need to create the first microservice for creation I need to go to uh, Spring Initializer here I choose Maven and the, and the language Java I change the ver uh, version of uh, Spring to, uh, to 2.7.7 and I start to customize my project so here artifact I change to customer for the packaging uh, is jar and version of Java 70 so uh, I pass to add uh, my dependence I will start with spring web After GPA, I need to long book and then my SQL and REST repository. I will add DevTools and for monitoring, I need to actuator. And in the last, I need to Eureka. But here we have uh, two choice, Eureka client and Eureka server. I need to Eureka cli client. So I need to do generate uh, for my project. I take here my project to folder where there is all the project in the Eclipse. I do uh, past here. Now I will import my project. For importing, uh, um, I open Eclipse and here we have file import i search maven and i choose existing maven project here i choose my project customer and i select the pom here i'm waiting for importing dependence so i open the pom and I find all my dependents. I find here Eureka, I find Actuator, GPA, Data Rest, Start Web, DevTools, MySQL for Connection, Lombok, and uh, the rest of dependents. I start to create um, my model. So here we have customer. For the customer, I need the ID, private log ID. After I need the name, private string name. And in the last, I need to email private string email. Here I put some annotation like entity. So I will create an object or, or um, in database 
with name customer data so for the data I am uh, create all the getter and setter if we see here I have getter and setter for all my attribute for the construction I do all args construct no args construct so uh, another construct without attribute to string and builder finally table for name uh, the table in database here I put the name customer I pass to create creation uh, GPA so here I choose interface with package repository customer repository name of this interface and this interface extends from GPA repository with customer here and the type of the first um, ID here we have long but we turn here in the customer I need to add here ID this annotation and generated value with identity And here in this interface I can add this annotation repository rest resource so I will pass directly to customer application for insert some line about our client or customer with method command line runner public command line runner start and I I will inject my repository here customer repository
So here we have return args and I will add uh, the list of customer. So customer repository save all list I will add this list list of Customer point builder point build. So here we have name I write here my name and email. So I write my email. I can do here copy pass for another three names. Now I will create the database. So here we have a new customer service. So here I do create. So I turn to Eclipse for uh, doing some configuration about uh, our application. So here I go to another project and I can do copy from this project and I do here past and server point port. I will add this one and here I can do I can write the name of this application spring application point name equal customer point service I can do like this So here I need to add this command spring point cloud point discovery is enabled it's enabled so I, I need to put false and I doing management 
for the endpoint. Point web. Point x. Poser include. So I put here star. Finally, management. endpoint health detail health shop detail is always so I turn here to customer application for controlling our method but don't forget to put here bin because uh, when spring uh, do launch for this application um, spring control all um, annotation like uh, bin or control or service and if there is some method he do uh, starting this uh, method in the first so now I can do launch from for customer. And no database um, so I need to change here customer service I do the launch another time because he don't know uh, the the another database so here the start completed and the token started in this port and he do the insert for all uh, name and email right here and we can control in database so I do reload, so I find here customer, and I find here the email with name. So after I will go to create the product service.